When we make molecular orbitals from atomic orbitals, we want to make molecular orbitals that have the right geometry for the molecular problem we're solving, if we have a tetrahedral molecule or a linear molecule. So what we need to do is look at our atomic orbitals and see if they satisfy that. So for the case of a linear molecule where you want to bond 180 degrees, there isn't a good set of atomic orbitals from the s and the 3p to do that. So what we want to do is take those atomic orbitals, make a linear combination of those on the single atom, and make a linear combination that's geometrically appropriate for 180 degrees, two orbitals 180 degrees from each other. How do we do that? Well, let's start by taking the s and the p orbital, the s and the pz, for instance, from an atom. If I take the s and the pz, that's two atomic orbitals. I'm going to make more atomic orbitals, and I need them to be conserved. So if I start with two, an s and a p, I need to form two new atomic orbitals. So the two new atomic orbitals will be a linear combination. If I add the s and the p together, now again, I'm adding, so green areas are positive amplitude, they'll get bigger. Red area is a negative amplitude, so when I add red and green, I should see a decrease in amplitude in those areas. So adding those two together gives me an orbital that looks like this. The green and the green added giving me higher amplitude, and the green and the red added giving me lower amplitude. And that's a new orbital. It's a combination of an s and a p. We'll call it an sp atomic orbital. So that sp atomic orbital is going to have a pair. That's only one. I started with two atomic orbitals. I need to create two new ones. So I can take the opposite. I can take the difference of those two. And now I'll have high amplitude on this side. This side will become green. This side will become red. And I'll have high amplitude on this side, 180 degrees from this high amplitude. This is a combination of s minus the pz. And that combination is also a sp orbital, but 180 degrees from my original sp. So now I have two new atomic orbitals. Their designation is sp, because they came from an s and a p orbital. And they're 180 degrees from each other. So two sp orbitals, equal energy, 180 degrees from each other, perfectly appropriate for a 180 degree bond. I still have my remaining p orbitals that I didn't use. I used the pz, so the px and the py are still available. But I have a new set, two sps and a px and a py. Those are the atomic orbitals that are appropriate for a 180 degree bond angle.